Hey everybody, it's Boom back here. Um, this is URL Crazy, which is a weird um, tool, actually. But what it does is it will do, it will see if there are any misspellings of this domain name that are live, actually. Um, what can you use it for? Well, let us say that um, you want to sort of social engineer, uh, in this case, AIVD.nl. If you can find a host that is a like almost identical one but a slight misspelling, like um, AVID.nl, for example, and you could um, find a vulnerability in AVID.nl, so your fake domain, you could um, get like a session stealer hopefully there or a uh, drive by download or whatever some other malware uh, stuff and hopefully get um, people from AIVD.nl in the mail to that domain name because it looks almost the same it's like no not identical um, as you can see here, um, well, your character insertion, that's what I mean. If you can get one of those, well, in this case, what do we have? Well, this one is very nicely done. This one is even better if that one would exist. Uh, let me see what is the best one. AID. So, uh, this one is also a good one. But it doesn't work. Well, this one is also a good one. That's actually perfect because you see AIV and you think, oh, that's cool. Or AID. Uh, but, you know, that's a pretty tr tricky one. The other one that I would suggest using would be this one. Which was this one or this one. If those exist and they have a vulnerability, you could definitely use those in a social engineering campaign. I mean, you just quickly glance at that if you're looking at a URL and you think, oh yeah, that's fine, that's, a, uh, that's, that's our, our URL. And then you get there and it will be too late. It's simple as that. It is as simple as that. Uh, which is why you should use this tool, basically. And you even have AIVD.com. But I wouldn't use that one because, well, you, yeah, keep it with keep it as like close to possible to the original URL, which is AVID, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's uh, it basically. I mean, not much more I can tell you about URL crazy, and that also include. Well, concludes, I should say, our DNS section. So, hooray for us. Um, you might also have noticed my new release schedule. Uh, decided to do them one a day, which is why this is on Friday. It gives me time and opportunity to catch up, or not, no, not to have, uh, not to catch up with myself because normally I would post them all on like Sunday or Saturday and then the next weekend I have to make the post for the old one then make the new movies and then I will always be one week behind um, now there's the problem that I've well I've uh, I had like last Sunday I had a lot of posts that I yet that were uh, needed to be done and Aside from that, I built up even more uh, because I have more videos lying around, and yeah, I want to like keep myself out of that. Uh, it's easy to do in the weekends to do the uh, oh, what you call it, the distros for Linux, the new ones that come out during the week. I'll do those in the weekend and do the post in one go. But for these kind of videos, it's just too damn hard so that's why the new release schedule and so next week we'll be starting um, 
we'll do archive because those two tools are basically a step after the DNS. We just first do DNS and then do archive, uh, at least in my mind. And MetaGoofle um, does extraction of metadata of documents found on your the site that you uh, wanna pen test that you are pen testing. So let's say you do fbi.gov and they have a PDF on there. You hope to extract metadata from that that will help you in your pen test. And C is a search engine assessment tool kit, I think it was. And they can help you uh, run a, a bunch of Google Docs on a site to net you the information that you want. So uh, these two are excellent to use because you don't interact with the site directly. At, at, at all well basically well for this one it's no it's not really true because you're going to download the document and extract metadata so you are going to interact but with this one you won't um so yeah that's it for next week uh we'll start with that and i'll think of something because as you can see these are only two and these are a lot so we'll probably go in this one and yeah so we'll do all the tools one by one and you can see we've got a lot of stuff ahead of us but we'll get there and at the end of this I hope you well know uh, what it is that all these tools do how you can use them and how to uh, well, perform a good pen test uh, on your own with with these tools and methodologies that I've just explained. So, first thing we're still doing is information gathering, and uh, this was Euro crazy.